Hello. Happy Thursday evening and thank you for joining me. You are listening to The Vibe Channel on A1R Psychic Radio. I am your hostess, Angel Confetti, also known as The Channel, because I am a psychic intuitive channel, which means that I can connect with loved ones that have passed over, as well as all kinds of divine beings in other dimensions, like your angels, your spirit guides, and a lot of other things like ascended masters and some great other light beings that are here to help guide us on our path, our spiritual path. I really want to welcome you tonight and thank you for joining us. And tonight I thought I would take a moment just to start with some basic information for those of you that are new to learning about spirituality and working with spirit. I know um, some of us, this may be a little advanced for you, but we can always use a refresher course. You may have missed um, something in the things that you've been learning. So I hope that you'll still pick up something that you need to hear. Um, Spirit's really great at making sure of that. But um, for those of us that are new to it, I know this was only me a couple of years ago before I started to spiritually awaken and realized that my abilities were actually gifts that I could use to help people. I didn't know much about any of this. So when I come on air or I teach a class, I really like to not make any assumptions that you know any of this. And I like to start very simple and teach as much as I can so that you can grow spiritually in your own path with your spirit guides, that you can learn more about your own spiritual abilities. And that's really what I want to talk about tonight. Did you know that everybody has spiritual abilities? You do. We all do. I'm not special. I'm not any different than you. The only difference between me and you, if you're not aware that you have these abilities, is just that. You're either not aware of them or you haven't worked to develop them. And that's what I think is so exciting is everybody's walking through this world and the majority of us don't even realize that we have these incredible abilities that the universe, God, whoever you call uh, the higher source or power is, uh, gave us these abilities to communicate with each other, to communicate with different realms and different types of spirit. And we're going through life not even realizing this. And so that's why I feel it's really important that those of us that are aware of it, that do have these abilities and know it, take the time to use those abilities to teach others so that they can expand and learn uh, their knowledge base about the same topic and figure out exactly what their abilities are and how they apply to their life and how they can use them to better not just their life, but those of, of them around them, others around them. So I want to start with the basic basics, and that is there are, in the spiritual community, what we call spiritual abilities that uh, there's quite a few common ones that we call the clairs and what these abilities are are the ability to connect either to different realms or to connect with each other in a different way than what we're used to we're used to using our senses to communicate um using our our words using uh our uh hands uh, symbols um, and talking with visual cues, but we have the ability to be able to talk and communicate in other ways, telepathically, um, through images in our mind that are placed there, uh, through words that are placed in our mind. And what's exciting is that while we may not all be different in the same uh, things that we have ability-wise, um, that's what makes us so neat and unique, that we have different abilities, but we all have some common thread among us that enables us to be able to learn and connect with one another, no matter what our abilities are. So what I really would like to explain to you this evening is, how do you know what your abilities are, and how to figure that out, and then how to tap into those abilities? Because you can do it. It's just a choice that you need to make to be able to learn how to do this. So we tend to think that these are special gifts, and I think of it as a gift. Some people don't even like to call them that because they think, well, you're, 
you know, you're no different than me. I have abilities, you have abilities, we all have abilities, so it's not really a gift, but I think if it is a gift, I think it's a gift from God that allows me to be able to help others um, on this side of uh, this realm and on the other sides. So I still call them gifts, but I do believe that we all have them. Some of us have what we call clairvoyancy, which is the ability to clearly see things, usually with our third eye in our mind's eye, sometimes with your own physical eyes where you can see spirit right in front of you as they stand there. I don't see things that clearly with my visual eyes. I see them in my mind's eye. Spirit can place an image there like a photograph or a video of what they look like or a memory that they had. I do see things out of the corner of my eyes. I do see energy uh, orbs and different types of energy spheres that shoot around in colors and lights, but I don't see usually full body apparitions, but other people with clairvoyancy can see that, but it doesn't make me any less of a clairvoyant than the person that can see that. That's the important thing here is that we all have the abilities. We just have them differently. It's the same thing between psychics and mediums. A psychic is somebody that can read a living being, their energy, their aura, they can read their uh, their different cues of of things that come through from spirit about their from their spirit guides. Where a medium connects with ones that are in different realms, so those that have passed over after death, those that live in other realms like angels and uh, elemental beings, galactic beings, archangels, things of that nature. Um, and some people are both psychic and medium, and some are just one or the other. They have the ability, like I said, sometimes we have clairvoyant, excuse me, clairvoyance, which is the clear seeing. Then we also have the clear hearing, which is clear audience. Again, sometimes it's with your actual physical ears that you hear spirit talking and communicating with you. Sometimes it's inside through your mind and you're hearing words and sentences that spirit give you uh, through your clear audience in your head. And then we also have what is called clairsentience. And this is what a lot of empathic people that are very sensitive have, where they can feel and sense energy around them and even emotions. So spirit can help them to feel uh, a emotion that they experienced, a love that they have for someone. Um, but we, as a psychic, we can read and feel people's energy, so we can just pick up that they just had an argument with a loved one, or that they're grieving, or going through something stressful, or they're overjoyed about something. That's clairsentience, and we can basically read the spirit or the environment through the energy that they put off. And then we have what's called claircognizance, and there's many, many more. There's different forms of clairvoyance. There's different forms of each one of these, but these are the main clairs that most people talk about. Claircognizance is clear knowing, where you just downgrade uh, this amazing factual sometimes information, some symbolic information, but nonetheless information from spirit that you need for something, whether it be to help a client with a reading, whether it be to uh, get a gut feeling about something, uh, like an intuitive hit, and then they give you information about that that topic that they want you to know of. Um, but that is one of the, those are the most important types. But then there's other things like clear gustance, where you have clear smelling, clear tasting, and all these things that work with our senses to allow us to experience things that, uh, messages, pieces of puzzle that spirit gives us to be able to put those things together to do a reading about somebody. Now, because I would like to take a couple of callers tonight, I wanna to give you three really quick points on how you can start to tap into your own abilities, starting from scratch. It takes a while, but you'll probably realize that you've been doing certain things that you didn't even know you were doing until you start connecting with spirit. And that's the first key, the first important thing you need to start doing just start talking and connecting with spirit. Whether it's through divination, like using um, oracle cards, whether it's through using a pendulum, or whether it's just talking to them every day, 
and asking them for assistance. Ask your spirit guides for help. Ask them to tell you what it is that you need to know so that you can tap into your own spiritual abilities and ask them to guide you, and they will. But now pay attention after asking them for any messages that come through from them. It might be right away. You may feel it or hear it or just intuitively get a feeling about it right away, or it may be a couple days later. You may start hearing it in song lyrics. You may start seeing it on signs as you're driving places. You may pick up it in pieces of other people's conversations. But you need to start asking spirit for help, talking to them in your room, in the shower, while you're driving, and just asking them to help you on this process. They won't help you unless you ask because they don't want to overstep your free will. Secondly, is then to start raising your energy and your vibration. Keeping your vibration up, being as positive as possible, grounding your energy by being out in nature as much as possible, connecting with natural water, uh, burning natural things like sage, incense, candles, things that make you happy, listening to positive music, doing all these things, meditating, extremely important and very good, one of the best ways to raise your vibration because you need to raise your vibration up high enough so that you can meet their vibration as they bring theirs down so that you can connect energetically to receive their messages. And lastly, start doing some form of energy work whether it be Tai Chi, Reiki, uh, Qiong, any type of energy, healing or work that starts moving energy through your body will start opening up your energy centers that are called chakras, which will then in turn raise your vibration, clear out any negative or blocked energy, and start opening up those abilities. Reiki is an amazing way to start connecting with spirit. So I'd like to take some callers and I don't want to uh, run out of time, but those are the three things that if you'd like to start connecting with your spiritual abilities, figuring out what they are, and learning how to develop them, that is the way to start. And if you do those things, spirit will start guiding you from there. Little by little, you'll start getting messages that are important on how to further this process and open you up. And before you know it, as long as you're willing to put in the work and the effort and the time, you can start Googling different abilities that you think you might have um, and start practicing different things that you see on different websites about how to bring those abilities in. Even if it's not a natural talent for you, you can learn how to develop it. So ask spirit, start connecting with them in some way on a regular basis Start raising your vibration and your energy as positive and as high as possible, and then working on some form of energy work. And in no time, you will be on the fast track to becoming whatever it is you are natural at or developing that talent that you really want to develop that you may not have ever thought you could possibly do. But if you're drawn to it and have wanted to do it, chances are you can do it. All right. Okay. I'd like to go ahead and take a caller. So, do we have a caller on the line available? Looks like we have Shirley in Hampshire, England. Shirley, are you with me tonight? Oh, yes, I'm with you. Hi, Shirley. Welcome to the show. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm thank you. Thank, thank, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. Do you have a question this evening? Um, just wondering really if anybody in spirit is connecting. Okay. Um, let me check here for you, Shirley. Okay, Shirley. Um, actually, I'm feeling a grandmother spirit. I believe there's a grandmother and a great grandmother. Um, I feel like this, the first one that's stepping through is on your mom's side maternal side and right, yeah. I'm seeing um, she's rather small woman not very large um, very I believe actually she's bringing through some really cool energy I don't know if this is um, grandma or first grandmother uh, second grandmother great grandmother but this particular one is extremely, I feel like, very maternal. 
She has a very maternal right. energy about her, very protective. And I feel like she really like looked out for her own and really still to this day is watching over you and the other loved ones that she left behind. And I would like right. to see what a message she has for you. And while I'm tuning into her actual message, if you have a specific question, you're welcome to ask since you know that she's here. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so basically she's telling me that first of all she just wants to connect with you and let you know that she's with you often and your loved ones, but she's also telling me that she really wants you to start um, watching after your health, paying attention right. to your health. Right, that's true. Yes, watching your health and really listening to your body. I feel like um, you may not quite be in touch with your boundaries of how far to push yourself and when to stop and need to say no. Um, and she just wants right. to say that she is with you and that your guides, your spirit guides are helping you through uh, to, to get healthy and stay healthier, but they really just need you to listen to your body, listen to those boundaries and not push yourself too much. It's okay to stop and rest when you need to. They're telling me that sometimes you may feel like if you stop and take care of yourself, that you feel like you or others may think that you're feeling that you're being lazy or not pushing through and taking care of responsibilities. But they're saying that's not true. That's not true. That if you feel the need to take care of yourself, that's your body, that's your intuition telling you to slow down and it's okay to listen to that. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's very that makes a lot of sense, yeah. Okay, great. And would, do you have a specific question you'd like to ask them? Um, just that they're all okay over the other side, really, and that obviously we all think of them as well. Absolutely, yes. They're very happy, very content, but they are with you on a regular basis. I'm also feeling an uncle energy. And they're saying that they're all together from both sides of your family, even the ones that didn't know each other before passing, right. that they are still together and that they know that you have a connection. They have a connection because of you and that they all are very happy, very content, and that more so they look after you and those that they've left behind because they said this is very stressful times right now for you right. and your family. And that they just want to make sure that you don't worry, that the, everything's going to be okay, and that to look after yourself. And as long as you do that and trust your instincts, everything's going to be peachy. I mean, everything's going to go as you hope and expect. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, yeah. Okay, yeah. great. I, I can also relate, I, yeah, I can also relate to what you said earlier about visual being people in all I get a lot of that in music, songs, and people talking in, you know, to me through spirit, I think. Yes, yes. I, I do feel like you have some great clairvoyance. I feel like you have some telepathy as well. And I think that if you do the things that I suggested, that you will actually tap into that pretty strongly. And as you do more and more of that, it'll open it up and before you know it you'll be knowing who's gonna call before they call you'll know what songs coming on the radio before it comes on and you'll actually be able to start using that to connect with those on the other side right, okay thank you I've been told this before as well funny enough oh great that's fantastic well yeah. that's spirits way of confirming it for you um, Shirley I do need right. to move along I have another caller but thank you so okay. much for calling in and please yeah. know to thank take care you of yourself you are very Thank welcome. You, you very take much. care. Thank you. You have a great evening. Take care now. Okay, and I do believe we have another caller on the line. And I am seeing Ricardo in Yukon, Oklahoma. Ricardo, how are you this evening? I'm doing all right. Thank you. Good. Well, thank you for joining us. I appreciate you calling in. What can I do for you this evening? I um, just want to see what's been, you know, going on for me and my family and maybe uh, love life and maybe got any okay. messages from my, you know, yes. relatives. Absolutely. Ricardo, actually, your guides are, are telling me that they'd like me to draw a card for you 
there's a message in here that regards that, and they'd like me to, uh, if that's okay with you, draw one of these cards because they said yeah. they have a message for you in that. So I'm just asking then Ricardo's guides, tell him what he needs to know that you would like him to know. And let's see what card pops out here. Well, if I don't drop them all, I believe it's this one. It's this one. Yes, they want me to hold on to that one. Anything else? Sorry, this is a really large deck here. <laughs> it's hard to shuffle and not drop them all. Which, okay, this one. This one for recording? Yes, okay. This is the most important card they're telling me. So, what I do is because even though these are messages written by man. Spirit knows what message you need to hear. So they have the proper card jump out so that I will share that message from this booklet. And then while I'm doing that, they will tell me anything intuitively that they want to add to that message for you. Okay, so the first card, and actually this is the main card. I This is the one they wanted. I don't know if you can see this or not, if you're watching us on Facebook, but I will read it to you. It says, Movement, Choices, Decisions. And yeah. it says, this card indicates a time of movement going on for you right now. Significant changes and choices must be made. With hard work, great effort, and determination, you have the ability to juggle all of the demands that are in front of you. This includes your love life. They're saying that there, there's some fear or some concern about trying to juggle it all um, but you can do this and you can make it work you can make have the love life that you desire as long as you put in this effort it says whether they concern your money situation your family your business decisions or other projects like your love life it's important that you stay flexible yet focused if you don't have mm -hmm. to do it alone you can reach out for the best advice and assistance from those that you love and trust, as well as your spirit guides. Your angels are there to help guide you in this matter, especially in the areas of the heart. They say that sometimes we can get so caught up emotionally that it's hard to stay focused on a, um, a more spiritual or realistic uh, matter and being able to make rational decisions because our emotions block that. And they have the ability to see things from a better perspective. So to count on them and ask them for assistance, as well as those that you care about and trust that can give you good advice uh, about these situations. So do not hesitate to, to ask for that assistance and don't try and carry all this on your own. It says, in addition, a financial union or partnership may present itself to you very soon. And the more time you take to make these vital decisions and choices, the longer it will be before you can move towards your goals and in the physical material world. The changes are emerging that are emerging aren't some random acts of coincidence. You can trust that this is guided by spirit in order for your best interest to play out. They're all part of a positive and larger scheme. Notice the connections with everything and this will enable you to avoid future pro problems and conflicts. So they're telling me what they really want you to know from this message is whether it be your love life, whether it be your family uh, problems, that they feel like they don't want you to carry these burdens on your own. They want you to look to uh, people you can trust for answers, but even more importantly, um, your guides for answers, for assistance. Let them carry the fear and the worry and the concern for you so that you can then have a clear picture and stand back and look at it uh, from a more logical perspective without the, the emotions being involved. And they also want you to know that while they want you to take time to look at any big decisions that come up, especially with your love life and your relationships, they don't want you to dwell on it too much. Don't over question things. Don't over analyze them because like the card said, it is all spiritually, divinely guided and happening for a reason. This is not coincidence. These things are synchronicities that are put there to assist you in, in guiding you on your path. And that as long as you 
have faith and trust that things will go well and that you uh, are, have asked for assistance and now you can trust that things are going to work out in your in your best interest, they will because they are guiding you through your intuition, through your gut instincts, and by just putting the proper people and places in your life so that you can move forward with your life purpose and plan. And I feel like the couple of big issues that you've been dealing with lately, family-wise and relationship, are actually, I feel, a lot of energy clearing out and releasing. In other words, making room for positive changes, that things are moving in the right direction in both of those areas. And I feel like things are really going to get better here very soon. Does that make sense? Can you repeat that, the last thing you said? I didn't listen. Absolutely. I said I feel a lot of energy shifting around both your love life and your family issues, and Spirit is telling me that it's clearing out and releasing a lot of things that have been holding you back so that things are going to start moving in a much better direction now coming up in both of these areas, your love life and your uh, personal family issues. So... Hang on there and keep the faith. Things are getting a lot better very soon. I sure hope so. I, I do believe that, Ricardo. I feel like you've been releasing a lot of things that needed to, to, to be released and moved out of the way so that the good things can start moving forward for you. I hate to do it, but I really need to wrap up. Ricardo, I hope that gives you some insight and some um, hope but things are definitely mm -hmm. getting better very soon. Okay? okay thank thank you, you for calling. I appreciate you calling in, and please don't hesitate to reach out to me um, and visit me on my website, thevibechannel.com. That's where you can reach me. You can learn more about my abilities, The Vibe Channel, and um, reach out to me for more information on readings. And if you'd like any further information so that we can take it deeper and give you more details, you can reach out to me there. We can book a private reading, but most importantly, you can join me on free readings here on the A1R radio, but also on free readings that I do on my YouTube channel and Facebook. So please follow me, join me next week. And until then, work on those abilities, ask spirit for help, and trust and know that you have the gifts. All you have to do is develop them. Spirit is always with you. In the meantime, till next week, namaste, and don't forget to love one another. Have a great night.